Hey guys, it's Brandon 29 and today I'm going to be going from noob to pro as a free to play player in the Roblox Polo Sword. But before we get into it, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down which world you're in. And let's get straight into it. So the first thing that I like to do whenever I start a new simulator is to redeem every single code. And it's really useful, so you guys can try that out too. And it just gives you a pretty quick boost uh, into the game. So I'm going to show you guys what I get after I redeem all of the codes. So I've redeemed all the codes and it seems like we haven't gotten any ores, swords, or trails. Obviously because you probably have to like get them through the game. But we definitely got some pretty decent pets. So if we go ahead and equip our best uh, pets, it's going to be the Frozen Dominus which is a 15 times boost. And then frozen b which is a 15 times boost then frozen a which is a 15 times boost so yeah these other pets yeah these are definitely my best pets and these this definitely helps because we at the start of the game we already have times uh to have, like a really big boost already so if we can just go over here and get these click upgrades really fast and i'm probably gonna be getting an auto clicker for this so now we do have an auto clicker to get a strength faster and just by itself so we can just keep equipping these uh, multi click multipliers and we'll be getting strength super fast and eventually i want to start uh, trying to pull some swords so i can start rebirthing so let's see how much this uh sword of essence gives so let's uh, auto fight the sword of essence and turn on the auto clicker so let's see how much this gives and this gives 50 wins and uh, i think it's originally supposed to give uh 25 wins and it's only being multiplied by two that's why it's giving 50. so yeah let's go ahead and rebirth i think we're gonna be able to rebirth a couple times yep just like that we had a 20 percent boost and now we also have this sword of essence uh to give us an even better boost for clicks and let's just go back to auto clicking uh, for these upgrades and i wonder if you keep the uh click upgrades which i think you do because um i shouldn't even be able to equip this right now so uh, yeah that's also super helpful i want to open a couple of these eggs and just see if it's even worth going for that because i think my pets right now should be stronger than them already but uh, i want to get some wins and test it out just to see if it's, uh, if it's worth it to go for these eggs these eggs for a bigger boost i also did want to go over to the halloween zone because there are probably going to be better uh, boosts here so already i think we're getting a better click i don't know if that's because of the Hallow halloween world though so let's check the out over here and these boosts are definitely massive but you have to pay a lot of pumpkins to get them and i'm assuming you can get pumpkins by just killing these zombies, I guess. And they don't have too much HP. I'm a, they're probably, um, they probably adjust to however much strength you have, or else I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be able to one shot these. So yeah, I'm getting a decent amount of pumpkins. Uh, probably not fast enough for me to get it, uh, get a like a good enough pet for me in this video. But um, yes, yeah, definitely. A good boost and something to grind for if you're a new player all right so after staying in the game for a little while i can just claim a space egg for free so let's go ahead and see what we get from this egg hopefully something good and we get an epic alien let's just check the boost on that i don't even think we can use it yeah 4.5 we don't even need it so i'm probably gonna be ignoring these for now actually i'm just gonna buy one of these maybe i think i'm gonna grind a little bit more just to get two more of these because they're definitely this is definitely way more useful than the uh other pets the other 15 multipliers that i have so uh, yeah let me just grind a little bit more just for uh, a couple of these so now i believe we only need three more pumpkins to uh get the two other pets that i want so back to the halloween store and get two more of these halloween dragons and go ahead and equip the best and now the boost should be a lot better i don't really know how to get ores yet but i think we should be getting trails soon because i want to start getting to the next world so if we go ahead and turn to the castle um and equip the best click so we're getting strength really fast already 
because of the Halloween event pets that we've gotten. So I'm gonna equip a trail. I'm gonna get, actually I first have to win a fight. So we got around two point or one point two k uh, wins from that, and I think we only need to pull the sword out two more times to get the uh, to get the trail that I want. So this last time and. Now we go over to trails and buy the blue fade, I believe. And now we have, should have a decent amount of strength or more strength because of that. So now let's go over to the Dark Prince world boss and see how we do. So uh, we do have a lot higher than recommended. So I guess, um, yeah, it's just a pretty easy fight for us. So we we can just uh, start AFK fighting or auto trade, auto fighting until we get enough wins for to escape the castle so i'm just gonna do that and uh once once i do get to 15k i'm gonna come back and show you guys now this should be the last fight and we should have 15,000 wins to go to the next world so yep there we go 15,000 wins and we're also getting a lot of uh, pieces for these pets i don't really know how what their boosts are so i'm just not gonna bother with them now and so here we are in the castle and it looks pretty similar to the previous world but there are definitely better quick boosts so let's go ahead and equip that and i did forget to open a couple eggs from the previous world but we're going to be doing that now so let's open this up and see what we get and see the boost probably not going to be better than the ones that we have right now but uh let's just check yeah i, I don't even know what i got let's let me see i got a um well, what even was that it was like a blue dog kind of thing it's a sapphire bunny and only a four a 4.5 times boost so we're not going to be we're probably not going to be using any of these eggs um, but i'm just going to keep grinding until uh, we can start pulling out some better swords so this is also a pretty cool boss let's just check it out and oh so this is like this is like a, a world boss of the castle world so yep and i can't really i don't think i can pull out many of these swords right now so i'm just gonna come back once i have done more of the process that i did before to get out of first world so see you once i get more strength so i opened a couple of these halloween eggs and uh i got a singer dog and a singer chihuahua and their boosts are just way better so I think I'm going to be spending a lot of time in this Halloween world so I can get better pets and just bigger boosts. And I'm also curious to see the uh, the brains that I have to see what that actually does and uh, see how much pumpkins it gives because I'm assuming what happens so when you pull out this sword or when you defeat this boss is you get a bunch of pumpkins and you can just spend that on, like OP pets in like the demonic shop over there. When I did actually see a 10,000 boost pet which I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that, but I'm also getting a lot of these pieces, these puzzle pieces to craft these pets. And I want to see how big these boosts are because I would assume that they're better than these. And yeah, so I'm probably just going to be spending a lot of time in this Halloween server until I can get like really good pets and maybe even get to the last world because in a lot of the other games, simulator games I play, usually the event pets are even stronger than like the best pets in like the best world. So I'm just going to be spending a lot of time here until I can, for example, finish these puzzle pieces. So after a bit of grinding, we have gotten to 97 puzzle pieces for the common Halloween alien and the and 49 puzzle pieces for the rare Halloween Chihuahua. So we just need to get one more of the Halloween Chihuahua and three more of the, um, the common one. So and boom there we go we have enough for the chihuahua and now i just want to get enough for the uh, the common one the uh, alien so only need two more after that one and i guess i'll just see you guys back when i get two more or one more now all right so that should be the last one and oh let me turn my auto clicker off and yeah we did get some more puzzle pieces from this we also got two of these orange auras which uh, I, if I do get another one, I'm going to be able to find out what these auras actually do. I'm assuming maybe it's the same thing as the trails, but we'll see. So let's go over to craft, craft the Halloween alien and 
the Chihuahua. And let's see their boost. This one gives a 140. And this one gives a 115. So I guess that wasn't too worth it. But uh, it's fine. Let me just delete these pets. And um, I guess it's still we can still use the pumpkins that we got from all those um with by opening these eggs so probably i might save up for this 7k egg because uh, these 800 eggs already have three pets right there so i don't really need another one it would give me too much of a boost but yeah i'm just going to be opening one of these 7,000 eggs once i do get enough for that but uh there is also this store which you could just buy that um but i think going for these 7,000 eggs would be better because the boost is probably bigger than 300 or 550 so yeah i'll see you guys until then so now we are at 6900 pumpkins and we only need about 60 more to get up to the 7000 pumpkins we need for the biggest or the most expensive egg in the halloween world so one more of these wolves and we can go open it so let's go ahead and um, I, yeah, I'm also waiting for this pet. I'm curious to see what the boost on that is, but let's go ahead and open one of these 7,000, um, 7,000 pumpkin eggs, and I'm hoping for a rare, but I can see if we get, uh, why, if we do get a common, so I'd be happy with a rare, and we get a common ruby spider. Let's check the boost on that, and it gets a 1.15k boost, so now we're going to go ahead and equip that, and now we should be getting strength a lot faster so uh let me turn off the auto click here we're gonna be going to the castle i want to check how much strength we need so we need the recommended amount of strength is uh 80 billion but you can you can actually beat it with 44 billion so i'm just gonna grind up to 44 billion but not now because um it's gonna take it's gonna take a little while and to do that on camera is to do that and be annoying so i'm probably going to uh go into the halloween world and then kill some more zombies wolves and like the pumpkin monsters or whatever and get up to six thousand brains and once i do get to six thousand brains i can uh, beat this event sword right here and i believe that should uh, allow me to get more pumpkins and once i do that then Oh, I need to stop by this. Once I do that, I'm going to be opening more eggs and just getting stronger pets in general. So I can just start getting like insane, insane pets so I can increase the multiplier and get to the next world faster. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave this on overnight and see you then. And I'm going to show you guys what I got after. All right, so I know I just said that I'd AFK overnight, but when I was grinding for brains, I realized that if I just fight, I tried fighting the Haunted Sword. I realized that I don't even need 6,000 brains for this. I can just turn on an auto clicker, and with 3.8 thousand brains, you can beat the Haunted Sword. So it's going super slowly, but you really don't need like anywhere near 6,000. I have 3.8k, which is closer to half of 6,000 than it is to actually 6,000. So once we do beat this, or I already did, but uh, you'll get the sword, or at least I'll get the sword, and that gives a big boost which helps to uh, give us strength for the actual uh worlds that'll get us into like that that'll get us wins to go to advance so i just wanted to show you guys that uh, this this can happen so we do get the we do beat the haunted sword now and the first time you do it you'll get the haunted sword and finally so we actually got a mythic pixel doggy piece which is pretty lucky so but I do have the sword and it's a big click boost, which is a big reason why like I could I got up to this much strength that fast. But uh, yeah, and if we go to the castle and go to hell, we can go over here and start trying to pull out the nightfall sword, which even though the recommended uh, the recommended strength for this is around like 80 billion uh, and the actual sword has 44 billion strength. We only have 31 billion strength and we can beat the sword so as you can see it goes again very slowly because we have a lot lower than the recommended strength but as you can see we can beat it and i've already i've already tried this out that's why it didn't give me the sword i already had the sword but yeah as you can see that gave us 10 million wins 
and we only need to beat this a few more times to escape this world so uh, yeah i'm gonna beat this two more times or three more times okay now this should be the last time we have to pull this sword out so we just have to wait for this bar to go to fill up but uh as you can see right now i have 31 billion strength and we leave this and check the recommended strength 80 billion as you can see and the actual sword had 44 billion strength so you don't even need half of the recommended strength to pull out the sword so with that we have 20 million um, wins and we can go into the next world but i do also want to show you the crafts that i got the mythic one from the halloween event and i also got two special auras from uh, the nightfall sword but without further ado let's escape hell and go into this world i did also forget to mention that i did open up two of the 7,000 pumpkin eggs and this is what i got i did get the two ruby spiders i opened one of them on camera already but uh, the other one i just got off camera and that also helps because it's a big boost compared to my other pets but uh, yeah and in this new world we do have the new click upgrades and we'll definitely be getting a lot more strength with that so yeah there we go and besides that i think um all we just need to go into the halloween world and grind for more pets in there because the pets in there obviously are better than these like if we go ahead and open uh the egg that we the most expensive egg that we can open in this world uh, we get the egg animation the egg open animation is really slow in this game but um we get a block doggy which is an epic actually and that is a 14% chance and it deals 92 damage so or the 92 multiplier so that is basically nothing it's pretty useless to us and I think we can actually craft a couple pets we only need three more uh, for this Halloween Cyclops but we're probably or it probably won't be useful judging by how the boosts that uh, these pets give um, yeah right here the Chihuahua giving only 140 so it's probably not going to be that useful, but uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Now, I'm going to continue to play this game and probably try to get to the last world. Uh, however, whatever world that is, I don't know how many worlds are in this game. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video, though. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down which world you're in. Thanks for watching, and bye bye